question. How can you determine whether an equation is endothermic or exothermic? Answer. Endothermic reactions need activation energy to proceed. Therefore, heat energy is needed for an endothermic reaction to occur. The prefix endo means within. Therefore, energy must be absorbed for this type of reaction. Usually in this type of reaction, heat energy that is absorbed is changed into chemical energy. An example of an endothermic reaction is the melting of ice. Energy is required for this to occur. With chemical reactions, the added heat energy would be seen on the left side of the equation where the reactants are. An exothermic reaction releases heat energy. The prefix X refers to outside and heat energy is released at the end of this type of reaction. Examples of exothermic reactions are when acids and bases are combined in a neutralization reaction. The products formed are salt and water and heat energy gets released as well. Combustion of fuels is an exothermic reaction. When fuels combust, heat energy is released. An example of this is when fossil fuels are burned in engines of cars or in oil or gas heaters.